So I'm just kind of sitting here hanging out and editing right now. If you guys have any questions, I have some time to answer them. So snap me your questions, I'll snap. First question, do I ever drink? I had a glass of wine after the LA Fit Expo after I competed, but normally I prefer to eat my calories. What is your favorite glute isolation movement? I am obsessed with the glute abductor machine. I'll do like 50 reps per set for like four sets. How did you decide that you were ready to prepare for a bikini competition? Make sure that you're mentally ready and physically ready. I would also make sure that your calories are at a healthy level to start cutting at. So if you're already low calorie, I would not begin a prep at all. So you really have to understand how tough prep can be. So you have to make sure that you're doing it for all the right reasons and make sure that you already have some muscle put on you before you start. Do you use CLA to cut? I have not used CLA in any of my preps or cutting series. What I do use is PE Science Norcadrine. It has yohimbine in it, so that's another fat burner that you can take. It's kind of in the same level as CLA. Do I take the PE Science True Creatine? Yes, I do, but the new product, Ergonine, actually has creatine in it, so you can take that and get an all-encompassing product. Do people do give you negative comments and how do you deal with it? I actually don't get a whole lot of negative comments, surprisingly. But if I do get any negative comments, I honestly just brush it off. If they're really bad, I'll delete them and block the person. I just don't really like take any negativity. I have no tolerance for it. What are your other hobbies besides the gym, um, cooking and eating? And are you a beard girl? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are BCAAs worth the money and do you see a difference? Yes, 100%. They're one of the only products that are tested to actually do what they say that they're going to do. List versus HIT for muscle retention. I always say HIT, but when you're doing HIT cardio, high intensity, make sure the high interval is actually getting your heart rate up really high. So when you're doing HIT, that high interval is supposed to be as hard as it humanly possible. You want to be dead after the interval and then you want to take a period to get your heart rate down back to normal. How did you break through in the fitness industry? I would go to my YouTube video, So You Want to Be Instagram Famous. I have a lot of tips on that video, so go check it out. Someone asked about competition heels from the Shoe Fairy. I don't personally use an ankle strap. I think it kind of cuts off my legs because I'm short. I'm only 5'2". And I don't have any issues with feeling like I'm going to fall out of my shoes, especially with the princess style that I have because they have an extra strap that goes across the top of your feet. Someone asked what the hardest part about living in LA is. Um, the rent is not that great here. It's kind of expensive if you're in West LA, of course, the traffic, but aside that, it's 100% worth it. Someone asked about the wedge sneakers that I wore during my J Fitness Wear shoot. I actually got those on Amazon. I just typed in wedge sneakers, and they're like a random ass brand. I got them for 30 What is the most important leg exercise aside from squats in order to add mass? It really depends on making sure that you're in that caloric surplus. So a combination of a lot of different leg exercises, make sure you're tracking the volume of your training so you know you're continuously progressing and getting stronger. Volume is weight times reps times sets, so continue to track your training and make sure you're eating enough to build muscle. So track your weight, track your macro. But the end all for be all for building muscle is making sure you're in a caloric surplus and continuously focusing on gaining strength in the gym. What is your favorite shoulder exercise? I love lateral raises. I don't even use anything higher than a five pound weight for lateral raises. I just do a lot of reps and really focus. How to lose belly fat. Unfortunately, you can't spot reduce. Fat will come off all over your body. So just keep focusing on being in a caloric deficit and increasing cardio a little. The only way to know that you are in a caloric deficit is making sure you're tracking your macros, tracking your progress, figuring that out, and then adjust macros and cardio for do you gain weight when you're on your period? I don't personally, but most people I do, I have a lot of clients that their weight increases when they're on their period. Just from water retention, it goes away. Another question, how do you figure out what your macros are? You can go to my website, amandabuchifit.com, and you can buy my ebook. It explains everything on how to set up. How do I improve my squat form? Number one, check out Lane Norton's How to Squat video on bodybuilding.com's YouTube. And number two, keep filming yourself and see what you're doing wrong. So someone asked about um, arginine inside my gallon jug. You can drink that all day. You can also drink amino acids all day. There's not really like a cap off for that. Someone asked what eyeliner I use. I actually don't have any eyeliner on right now, but I use Infallible L'Oreal. What is better for gaining weight, higher fat or higher carb? It depends on everybody's body. I would experiment doing different things for a period of two to three weeks, see how your body Okay, someone asked me, what do you do if you get sick on prep? Drink plenty of water, eat all of your calories because you need them to recover, and take one or two days off. 
Someone asked, what do you do after you have an intense workout and you're really sore? Just foam roll and take some amino acids. That's what they're for. What do you do if you're hungover? Ranj, take it away. You drink a coconut. <laughs>